Okay guys, here we go. First video, we'll see how it works. So today I'll be teaching you Cat Chaos. Got this for Christmas from my brother and we haven't played it yet, so maybe we'll play it this time. Uh, how this game is set up is there are um, different cat suits like Cindy Clawford and Notorious C.A.T. There are two suits of four per player plus one. So since I've set up a two-player game, uh, we'd be looking at seven suits altogether of four cards each. The goal of the game is to be the first person to have uh, each of your piles as a complete suit. Uh, it is a real-time game, so we'll all be going at the same time. Uh, how this works, you have your face-up cards in the middle. These are where you'll be drawing, uh, taking cards from. And then you have your individual piles. So if there was a third person, they would have three piles of four cards each as well. And these are all randomly uh, shuffled and then given out to people. So when the game starts, according to the rules, the youngest player shouts, Meow! And then the game starts. So you can look through each individual uh, pile that you have, but you can only be accessing one at a time. So you can't be holding both. That's a no-go. So you can only be doing holding one at a time. And so since your goal is to get all of the all four cards to have the same suit, uh, what you'll do with your cards is say I want this blue one here of Cattley Portman. There's already one out there. You can't have more than uh, four in your hand at any given time. So I'll maybe discard the Harry Potter to the middle row. And then since I have three, I can pick this up to make the fourth one. I have to rely on other people discarding the cards that I want. So if you're paying attention to what everybody else is grabbing, you can maybe keep stashing, you know, if, if I see that somebody else is grabbing Cataly Portman, I can keep it in one of my decks and just discard it last, you know, to prevent that person from getting it. It kind of seems like it has a similar feel to Spoons, how you maybe are observing other people while you're frantically doing your own thing. So I don't have anything else there, uh, or maybe I would grab Notorious C.A.T. to have those be, you know, kind of set for either or. And then I'd have to put that pile down and draw the next one. Well, here's a Cataly Portman Blue, and I'm trying to get it in this deck. So maybe I'll discard that one and pick up Cindy Clawford to have two of the same there. And then I would have to quick go back over to this one, drop this, and pick this up as such. Make sense? So everybody's doing this at the same time, so it's going to be pretty frantic, hence cat chaos. Uh, and then once you have, let's see, let's say he put that down, pick that up. Once you have four of the same, then you shout meow or something. You, you announce that you have a set and then it goes face up. And then the first person to get all three uh, of their piles face up yells cat's whiskers and then that's the end of the game, and they are the winner. Uh, and that's it. For a harder version, you can add more suits, because then, you know, right now there's enough for there to be a full suit in the middle, and then each person to have their own suit. So if you add more suits, then you, it'll extend the game, you know. And there are quite a few in here. I mean, there's, we got, let's see if we can see this here. We've got David Meowy. Uh, we've got Katsunova, we've got Santa Claus, you know, Luke Skywhisker, all, all sorts of stuff. So there's quite a few suits that this can do. Uh, and the game plays up to eight players. So there's enough for eight players. Uh, so that's 17 suits, probably, of using everything. Um, but that's it. Seems really simple. So we'll... Maybe give it a shot this week. See you then.